For a long time, we needed printers. It was how work got done. Then we went digital and everyone moved to the cloud. But then lots of us moved to work from home and between that, shipping labels, airline boarding passes, scrapbooking, school projects, well, we're not done with printers just yet. That's why I'm testing printers for home use. I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets Canada and Tech Gadgets International, and today I've got the Epson ET2803 EcoTank printer for review. I'll take a look at what it can do, the pros and cons, and a couple of flags for users. I'll wrap things up by letting you know if I think it's a good pick for you. Let's start by taking a look at this ink tank printer and seeing why you might choose this over an inkjet. Now, inkjets are one of the most popular home use printers around. They're easy to use, they can print in color, and they're fairly cheap to buy. But inkjet printers do need expensive ink cartridges. And if you plan on printing colored photos in high quality mode, for example, you're going to have to replace those cartridges more often. And some printer companies actually block you from using ink from other cheaper suppliers. Fortunately, ink tank technology has been developed to address this problem. Ink tank printers are ink jets that have a built-in tank of ink that can be refilled whenever it runs out. This means you don't have to buy new cartridges every time. Just refill the tank from a bottle of liquid ink. The Epson ET2803 is an all-in-one ink tank printer that can print, scan, and copy documents. Getting this printer set up was actually really easy. I haven't reviewed that many Epson products, maybe just one printer a bunch of years ago, so I wasn't quite sure what to expect. After plugging in the printer and following the initiation steps on the screen, I was able to get it connected to my home's Wi-Fi network. From there, I was able to add it to my MacBook Pro's list of printers and see it using my Apple iPhone. The Wi-Fi connectivity means you can print from anywhere in your home from almost any device, including smartphones, tablets, and computers, and this printer is compatible with a lot of different operating systems. You will need to fill each of the ink tanks before your first use. Epson walks you through this really clearly, and I'm really happy to say the ink bottles are made in such a way that they seem to be quite leak and drip proof, so there was no spillage when I was getting everything filled up. Now let's start by taking a look at the printing. I was easily able to print from my Apple MacBook Pro after going through the steps to add the printer in my MacBook settings. I was also able to print using my iPhone and my iPad too. This printer can take a wide range of paper sizes and formats. It can also handle various paper types like glossy or matte photo paper, plain paper, even cardstock and envelopes. I found this printer to be really useful and the print quality is very good. I mainly used it for printing documents and I found even with the ink tank style of printing, there was never any ghosting, blurring, or smearing of ink. With both black and white and color documents, they were also easy to read and I was really pleased with the overall quality, like I say. This printer can print about 15 pages per minute in black and eight pages per minute in color. Worth noting, it does not print two-sided copies. Moving on to the photo printing, the ET2803 will print photos and the quality is actually really impressive. They're sharp, colorful, and vibrant. They do take an excruciatingly long time, clocking in at almost three minutes per 4x6 print, but if you feel like waiting on them, they are worth it. When it comes to scanning, the ET2803 is pretty standard, scanning documents on its flat screen, and it takes about 11 seconds or so for non-color and 28 seconds for color scans. Scanning multiple pages on this printer is not ideal though, because you have to place the pages one at a time on that flatbed and then use the cloud interface to send it to your computer or your phone. The good news though is that you can scan several different pages and have them save as one single digital file. This can be extremely tedious on longer documents, so if you typically have reports or multi-page briefs that do require scanning, in my opinion you'd be better off with a printer that does include a document feeder. As it is, this printer is good for scanning a page or two in a pinch and that's about it. Even so, the quality of those scans is just fine, and they are pretty true to the original. Perhaps worth pointing out is that you can upgrade to a more robust Epson model and get a document feeder for additional cost, perhaps not surprisingly. As a MacBook user here, I wasn't able to find any kind of app for my laptop that would allow me to scan documents directly to my computer. 
Now, fortunately, there is an app for iPhone that I was able to use that did create some extra steps of me having to scan documents to my phone and then get them over to my computer. But thanks to the seamlessness of Apple devices, that wasn't too much of a struggle. I will say it would be a little easier for us Mac users if Epson offered some kind of Mac interface. But as far as I could see, there is no such option in the Mac store. Let's talk about the ink. While your first four bottles are included in the printer box, refills are sold separately by Epson. There's black, cyan, magenta, and yellow. The black ink has a 6,600 page capacity while the rest have 5,900 page capacity. Okay, what about the ink cost? Many of us have probably purchased a really cheap printer only to find out later that we'd be paying through the nose for special ink cartridges for the rest of our natural lives. Ink cost is a real factor in your choice of printer, as is compatibility of aftermarket ink cartridges with certain printers. HP, for example, has gone so far as to insert proprietary chips into their ink cartridges and the printers, and that essentially blocks any third-party manufacturer's cartridge from working inside their printers. This has the effect of essentially tying you to only HP cartridges for life, and they can be expensive. Now with ink tanks, there's no special magic, no chips, no barcodes. You can feel free to refill your printer with just about any reputable ink, particularly if it costs less. If you're going to buy the recommended Epson ink bottles, you can expect to pay about $12 a bottle for those refills. Overall, this is a decent printer for home office use and for those who have lower volume print needs. It's easy to set up and use, the print speed is reasonable, and it also has the ability to scan and copy. The ink tanks seem to be quite long lasting and I appreciated the design of them and how the tanks are filled so everything is mess free. When it comes to the downsides, this printer does have a bit of a larger footprint than some, so you'll need to have some dedicated space for it. And I do feel like it could use an automatic document feeder. The other thing that was missing for me personally was an Epson app for Mac that would allow me to scan things directly to my laptop. Now, while these are nice features to have, they are probably not deal breakers for a lot of us. So despite those downsides, I can heartily recommend the Epson EcoTank ET2803 printer to you. This printer costs about 279 US dollars and it's frequently on sale for less. Ink replacements, like I said earlier, cost about 12 bucks a bottle. If you're a Mac user and want something that works a little more seamlessly with the Apple ecosystem, check out my review of this HP printer. Or if you want faster and more dedicated photo printing, see what a mini photo printer can do right now.